We are live. We are live. We are live. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the second episode of Garbage Time Podcast. Yes, sir. This is a 48-minute sports podcast where we talk everything basketball and sports. We have a four-quarter podcast system where our podcast co-hosts will be debating sports topics, breaking down film, concepts, and so much more. So with that being said, let's get into it. I'm one of the co-hosts, the name Uno. I'm here with my brothers and everyday co-stars and co-hosts, Matthew Aaron, 5'5", Five Five, D. John, and Drew. Yo. Yep. We want to thank the Seven Podcast Network for giving us this special opportunity to speak our minds and voices on our opinions on sports. And so with that being said, man, let's get into it. You did. You did. You did. So it's the pregame time. So I got two questions. I got a question. Who would you rather have, Mr. Gachos or Aaron Gordon? Mm. Mr. Gachos. AG. I'm going AG. Yeah, Mr. Gachos. Yeah, Mr. Gachos. I'm going AG. Mr. Gabe, Gabe Vincent, Gabe Vincent himself. You know what I'm saying? You said you going A G. I'm going A G, bro. The way he was hooping in that first half of the first game, bro, he looked like he won a Finals MVP. He could bring he the ball hooping. up for you. You know, he can bring the ball up for you. He, he he can shoot a little bit. I seen him. I seen him airball something, but we're gonna skip past that. I'm going with A G. Yeah, one. I'm going with A G. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I'll probably do the same thing. Uh, Aaron Gordon is one of those players that gets to benefit from. He gets to do a lot less than what he's actually capable of doing. And we've seen it in glimpses in Orlando to where things had to run through him. And he was able to do stuff to where it's good. Not to take anything away from Gabe Vincent, but I think he Gabe Vincent is basically maxing out what he could do. He's going to be, you know, one of those serviceable guys that you're going to be able to plug in at any point in time. Yeah, but. Aaron Gordon could have a game to where he can get 35 points, you know. So I'll probably just take, you know, A.G. All right. Who you got, Drew? Yeah, I'm going to go Gabe. I'm going to go Gabe. I think um... – Mr. Gacho! Mr. Gacho! <laughs> Let's Gacho. go! Stand up over Gacho! <laughs> yeah, I think I – think, um... kind of like you guys made that point where – I think uh, Bill made that point where he was saying that – AG went from being a star and not having to do as much. I think, like, I, I think Gabe's going to be a, a heat for a while. But, like, for me, I kind of imagine Gabe has to put up, like, 20, right? He's a guy that's not really looked at as a person that has to be a role player. He has to be, like, like a, a first, maybe even sometimes even a second star. So I see them, like, I'm just thinking of him being with somebody that's aggressive, like a LeBron, him being on the side of LeBron. And be on the side of Giannis, where he doesn't have to be the main guy. He could just go get a quiet 20, quiet 18. And I'm thinking like how he can flourish with that, especially when we look at Miami too and see how they probably juiced him up being a better defender as well. Yeah. So like him going on to like another team, that's kind of like my thought process with it. And so I'm gonna go gay. I'm gonna go gay. And I think well he 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 younger too. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go get it. Yeah, DJ. Um, I think that's tough. I think I think I want to go with AG. I actually am an AG fan, but after seeing the playoff when um Tyler Hero go down, you see Gabe Vincent step up and starting to average about 18 to 20 points each playoff each series. So I think I think you a lot of teams. Need a gay Vincent on the team. Nice. Aaron Gordon, there's moments where sure. he can't knock down that three and he get play off the court easily. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with Game Vincent because I could I could do so much with him. Hell yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. That's the end of the motherfucking two game. The end of the two game. End of the two game. Let's transition. Let's get into the first quarter. Let's get into this first quarter. So I got some questions for y'all. We're going to kind of uh, preview the next game, which is today. We dropped today. So today. Yeah. Um, who y'all got winning uh, game three? And I'm going to start from the bottom up. DJ, I'm going to start with you. Who you got winning game three? Man. After a loss Denver had, I think I'm going to go with Denver on this one. 
Um, just because they came off a loss, I think they're gonna come back looking for revenge, trying to get that win back. Uh, I think especially Jamal, I think he shot he shot seven seven for fifteen. So I think he's gonna look come back and try to go for thirty. So I'm gonna go with Denver on this game. Hell yeah, like that, like that. Who you got, Drew? Yeah, I got Denver. I got Denver coming back. I, I'm looking at um, and I know we're gonna get into it a little bit, but I just look how how Denver played in game in game two. And um, it was more so to me, it was more so Denver mistakes rather than the Nuggets not being able to get into what they want to get to. And so um, I'm a, I'm gonna wait to go into that when we really dive into into game two. But yeah, I got I got Denver kind of like with the same thing DJ said, coming off a loss, looking at what you did wrong. Yeah. I got I got Denver in game two. I mean game three. Who you got five? Man, that look on Joker's face has me excited to see what he's going to do in this next game. When he was walking off the court, bro, looked mad as I don't know what. With that being said, Miami's finally out of the mountains. They get to go back home, get used to the air, the air that they used to, you know? <laughs> so good. I'm saying Miami, bro. I think Miami's going to go home and win this one. I think they're going to take game three. Oh uh, yeah, so we got we got Miami, Miami. No, we got Denver, Denver, Miami. What you got, Denver? Bill? I think <laughs> I think that I stand on this island. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I, I think, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that Miami. What did they start off in the fourth quarter? Twelve for twelve. You played perfect yeah, think in the cool. fourth quarter, and a three point victory. And Jamal Murray had a shot to send it in the overtime that I seen him make against the Lakers. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> like I'm going to take the the fact that Jamal Murray didn't really get hot until the end of the game. And we kind of see with Jamal Murray that like how he ends the game kind of carries over into the next game. So Joker has found everything that he's able to do in this series within the first two games. He knows that he could dominate at any point in time. So I think that, you know, I think Denver's going to come out in game three with that sense of urgency and that desperation. And, you know, we've seen from time to time Miami kind of have those lapses, you know, from game to game. So I just think that that's going to happen. And, uh, you know, I'm sticking with my Denver and five. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, nah, I still got mad at winning, buddy. <laughs> How can the Nuggets get MPJ to become more mm. effective? Because we watched as, you know, the first two games, he's been, what, three for 16 or something like that from the yeah. trade. So he hasn't been uh, so effective of what he thinks he can shoot over yeah. the top of people. So where do you think the Nuggets need to do to, if anything, to get MPJ more involved or to get him kind of out of this slump? to be more uh, effective for this, for their team. Shoot, man. Boy, got to get it off the bounce, man. He can't be afraid to dribble, put the ball on the floor, and take the shot. He wanted to catch and shoot so bad. Like, just take the ball off the dribble and get a layup. If they that small, then what's wrong with you getting to the rim? For sure. For sure. Yeah. You I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. Um... I think more or less he's getting the shots that he wants at the three-point line. If they're not falling, bro, just got to mix it up, get to the basket. I mean, I agree with Bill. What you got, Drew? Yeah, um, I mean, I think it's to kind of put him more in the AG role, right? I think um, AG is more so like corner and letting him – let letting the pick and roll go. I think they're going to try to put AG in a lot more pick and rolls to see if they can maybe move Bam away from the basket. And then now you have MPJ in the corner. Maybe those catch-and-shoot threes are more so wide open. But not only that, he's pretty athletic too. So I think I think Denver's going to actually put AG on the ball in a pick-and-roll setting. That way you got to help off of Jamal Murray. You got to help off of, of MPJ and maybe like KCP. Yeah, you can switch it, but then you're switching Jimmy on him. But – in game two, Jimmy guarded Jamal, so you're switching somebody that you probably don't want on Joker yeah. on on him. So I think you're gonna put him more, put AG more on the ball 
let MPJ be the corner cutter or the corner tray. Yeah, that's a good point. What you got, DJ? Um, I just I just think he's a streaky shooter. I don't think they really gonna do anything crazy, try to switch up anything. Uh, I think he's gonna continue to shoot like he always do. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we want him to go to the rack, go to the mid range, but eventually I think he will have thirty because he eventually he will get on fire, get that rhythm, and just you know it's just about finding that rhythm. So I think he will find it eventually. But... Yeah, to me, they just need ball movement. Yeah, for him, they need to run more actions off, the, uh, more ball movement, more floppies, get him off the run and right. get a different position, other than just getting it off a of catch and shoot and expecting they get a pull over the top yeah. of everybody. So, I think once they, once they, they as a team need to do that. It's it's it, but that's where I was saying in the first episode, it's really pick and roll, Jamal Murray one on one, Joker one on one, pick your poison. They took away the one on one with with Jamal in the second game and let Joker do his thing. And I don't think that played too much into effect. We'll get into that more yeah. later. But uh, for my third question, I have, uh, will will my, will my Denver's bench show up more in game three, do you think? Do you think they'll be a more of, uh, do you think they'll be effective in this series or does it, just, does it not matter? Is it really just the starting units that that's kind of giving the Nuggets their, their movement? Uh, we can go with five. Well, something I seen that was interesting was that Spo used more of his bench than Denver used in game two. He uh, went down 10 players while Denver stayed at eight. So, no, I don't think that they're going to be more effective than Miami's bench in this next game. Spo's making adjustments, and I don't think Denver is uh, going to be able to keep up. Okay. There. What you got, DJ? Um... It's tough because if you look on their bench, you know, I wouldn't consider Bruce Brown a scorer. Jeff Green at one point was getting a bucket, but he's a little older now. He, he kind of in more in a role, so I wouldn't say he going to come off and just start getting buckets. They ain't really got no guys off the bench really who's going to go off and get a bucket. Same with Miami. You would think about Miami. They got shooters coming yeah. off that bench. So they can light it up at any point of the time. And, you know, I just don't see Denver bench really doing anything to – keep up with them if they on fire and they don't have no bench. So, nah, I mean, no uh, center. So, yeah. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think they're going to do much. What you think, Drew? I think Denver, I think Denver going to do, they bench going to do what they've been doing. You know, like when you, when you've been looking at them throughout the course, even, even through the loss last game, it's like, yeah, that's Denver's bench. You're going to have a few people maybe get in here with it, with eight, Four, like it, it, it's nothing crazy. I just think they they play off of their system, and whoever gets it gets it. They do got like like we just got off MPJ, but MPJ got the green light, and I think uh, with a player like him, you gotta kind of give him the green light. Maul got it, you know. And then you got your star player who's just willing to pass it to all these guys with green light. So I think like I think it's gonna be normal. I think you're gonna see Jeff Green probably hit like two threes. So you're gonna have six. You're gonna have uh. The young rook come in, probably gonna give you like four. Bruce Brown gonna probably hit hit two threes and get to the basket twice. So he probably gonna, you know, he probably gonna end with something like eight, ten, twelve. I think it's just gonna be normal for Denver. Like I think that's that's the main thing. Um yeah, I kinda agree with all the points so far. Uh the one thing that I'll say is Mike Malone should have rolled with that bench unit. A little bit more. When rookie came in, rookie Brown, he got a couple steals. You know what I'm saying? He got a couple buckets. Yeah, he came in, but he does things that I think um, that they could have used. He plays a little bit more of a def- uh, discipline on defense. And, and I think that they could have used that youth on trying to nullify the fact that they're coming in with a bunch of shooters for Miami. You know, you have to, if if your thought process in Denver is to run people off the three-point line and stuff like that, you do need people who can recover. You know, and Jeff Green, you guys said, is a little bit older. He can't really recover like that. You know, if you got Bruce Brown out there, Bruce Brown, he's a flyer. You know what I'm saying? He's flying at the guy. 
Same thing with KCP. So the, if you're going to play your bench, you should probably play your bench. I'm looking for them to have a better impact defensively rather than to come out there and do something offensively because to, to, to Drew's point, it's like Joker and Jamal and MPJ are going to be the focal points on offense. You know what I mean? So if you're not back cutting at the right time, if you're not setting the down the down pick so that you can come up, then you're really not going to get it within you know unless you're giving giving the ball. But defensively, you can make an impact, bro. Like play discipline, go out there with your hand up, and like I'm looking for. I don't, I don't think that Bruce Brown is going to necessarily go off. But like going back to you guys' point. If you do what you do, but you play with more effort, there'll be more opportunities for Denver. Yeah, yeah that's true. Sure. Yeah, well, that being said, let's get into this. Yeah, next yeah. Coda. Second motherfucking Coda. You know what time it is. It's trivia time. Let's get into it. All right. I want to ask y'all some important <laughs> questions. Last time, y'all, y'all last episode, y'all hey, disappointed man. me, man. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, I thought tough. y'all was gonna be more prepared with your <laughs> history. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And y'all wasn't prepared with it. You. you looking like that five, but you you ain't answering nothing correct. Bro, I, I done, done had bro, it. what nigga? Mm. I done had so many of them questions. <laughs> oh, I bet. What's it? Come on, come on. Come on. Why he threw some card balls questions though? I ain't gonna lie. Right. You know, I had to come in a little hard. Come on, man. But this time it's 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 the finals. So this episode is predicated on the finals. So I'm going to go and I'm going to ask some finals questions and maybe this would make it a little more easier for my okay. historians <laughs> and my, 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 my co-stars Let's in get this it. thing. Let's get it. So first question, who who's the top five leading scorers in the finals history? Michael who Jordan. the top five leading scorers in finals history? Throw Brian in there. Michael yeah, Jeffrey. LeBron James. LeBron James. He's number, four. He's, he's number LeBron four. James. Michael Jordan's number four. Number LeBron James is number Kareem. two. Kareem. Kareem's number three. Mm-hmm. Melman? No. He only had two. Jack? Seconds. No. Okay. Kobe. Kobe. No. No. Oh. Ooh. So, hold on real quick. So, how many we got so far? Three? You got two, three, and four. LeBron James, Kareem, Michael Jordan. Bill he Russell, went he went to 11. What's that white boy uh, that Bill Russell? No, no. Oh, Tim Duncan. Cozy? Yeah. Tim Duncan. Yeah. I, what? No. I got I got Larry. Larry Bird? No. No? No. I'll give you, nah, I'll give I've you seen this shit. Y'all want to yeah. take y'all hint? All right. Play for, they both play for the same team. Is it uh, right now? No. Oh, you can Okay, gotcha. They both they both played on the same team at one point in time, but not when they. Oh, no, the, no. the the two no, that the was... two that we got. One in five both played, played on the same, on the same team. team. Okay. Yeah. Oh. This is the top scorers in the finals. Fun. Yes. On the same team. Oh, one oh, in five. Oh, logo. Oh, logo. Elgin. And um and um and Will? And Elgin. Will? And Elgin's number five. And Elgin. Yeah, you, you and absolutely Elgin. right. That's that it. boy got yeah, 60 uh, points in the game. <laughs> Final game. That's the first one. Hey, man, my Lakers are right. supposed hey, to get look. that one. Yeah, right, right. Three hey, Lakers in right. here, hey, right. Get that yeah, one, man. Right. Uh, we we went to Boston good. for the answer, man. We hey, threw out five Lakers before we got it right. All right, next question. Name five players who have played in the mo- name the five players who've played the most Bill in the Russell. NBA Finals. LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron. Bill Russell's number one. LeBron James is number three. Three. Two. Jerry West. James number. Jerry James West. Number four. <laughs> Jerry West isn't on the list. Magic Johnson. That's number five. So you need number Bob two. Cousy. No. Um. Number two in the finals, the most, the most games it's played. Gonna be a Robert Ory. It's gonna be hard. So think of like, no, think of like, That's a good one. think of players that played on yeah. the historic teams. 
but aren't like nah. world world known. Historian players will know this player. Yeah, okay. Uh so he can really be only ooh. only be on two teams. So we only got LeBron. No, nah, we got Russell Magic. So far? No, yeah, we got four. Magic. You got everybody. So you got Bill Russell at number one, LeBron at three, Kareem at four, Magic at five. You need number two. That was not tough. Finals games played. Yes. It got to be a Celtic. Ooh. Celtic or Lakers? Celtic. Celtic. It's an old Celtic. Who is it? Jones. Ain't Paris. Sam much. Jones. Say it again. Yeah. That's it right there. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. See, that one we went for the Celtics. That one we went to the Celtics. <laughs> that was Celtics. That's Celtics right there. Top two. Top two. All right. Last one. <clears throat> then we're going to get into this halftime. Other than LeBron yeah. and Michael Jordan. Because those are the top two. So other than LeBron and Michael Jordan. Name the next five players with the most NBA Finals MVPs. For sure. Kareem. Timmy. All right, so All right. this is what we're going to do. Three yeah. of the players are on this list, and then the, four, the fourth is like accumulation of six oh. players. Okay. So if you, get, if you get two of those six, okay. then that counts. So what we got so, so far? So, so far I heard... Mm-hmm. Kareem, and I heard who else? Tim Duncan. That's number one. So Tim Duncan is number one. So yeah. technically he's number three, but in this list he's number one. And then um, Kareem is in the tie. Oh, okay, he's four, he or five. four or five. Yeah, he's on the tie. How, many, how many he got? Yeah. How many he got? He got two. Tim Duncan got two? No, Kareem got two. So then Kobe's one of them. Kobe is one of the two. Okay. KD, Shaq, KD with the top. So your so yeah. twos are covered up. Shaq. Yep, that's number two on the list. KD yeah. got two. But he's in the tie. Yeah, but that he's, but in, he's the in the tie. You don't have to get all the tie. Larry. Oh, Larry. No, Larry. no, no, no. Larry's in the tie. No, he got two because Cornbread. Cornbread Maxwell. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. Um, um, Whoa, we're looking for another three, guys. Yeah. All right, so the list is LeBron, Michael, Timmy, Shaq, and Kobe, and all them are tied. Who were missing? Shaq, Kobe, LeBron, and Kobe. LeBron, LeBron, Michael yeah. aren't on this list, but yeah, they on there. But you got Tim Duncan at number one, Shaq at number two. Yeah, um, the, uh, somewhere in the 80s. And you already 70. covered up your four and five with Kobe and Kareem. So, so we need he- number four. Oh, no, we need three. Sorry. We need number three. We're looking for somebody that had got three. I'm trying to think. Got to be one of them old Celtics. Uh, Moses? Oh. Uh, no. Moses is um, on the list. Cozy. Cozy hmm. isn't on so the he list. must have not got. Bill. Bill isn't on the list. So it can't be that old then because I don't know if they. No, yeah, because they I don't think they have back then. Right. Finals MVP oh, is right. a newer That's list. Yeah. So Jerry yeah. West isn't on this list. Nah, logo. No, not, I mean, even though he would only be on here once. Once, he right? He would have been on there anyway. once anyway. Dang. Okay, so we we looking at we got to think. Come on, uh, y'all know it. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why this stuffing us like this? <laughs> this is really easy. Y'all should have got this one. It's slight work. This slide. I, mean, I don't even want to. It's easy you for you when you when you got the answers right there. It's easy. It's easy. Light work. He's like saying it's answer. light work. Man, I'm really it's thinking easy. too. Like, can you? <laughs> Most finals MVPs. More than two, less than Shaq, less than LeBron James. It's not hard. It's not hard. <laughs> but there's a lot of people that Ooh. only want two chips. A no, king? there's not. There's not a lot of niggas. Uh, okay, yeah. two. So it's not. Yeah. Mo- it's more than two. You name it. Yeah, two try- to get out two. So it, it ain't four. Three. It's gotta be it's somebody three. Got so three. Nigga, nigga, so got three. three. Who got Final three? MVPs. There's no one recently, bro. 
There's nobody no. recently. There's nobody recently. It, it got to be MJ got the all pretty much the 90s, 80s. I don't know Kawhi got to. No, it's, it got to be in the Y'all are killing me. Uh, oh, I'm still going to disappoint you again. Y'all want a hint? Okay, wait. East, east or west? West. You Bro. Said magic? Oh, Thank yeah. Magic you. Johnson. Holy shit. Oh, man. Oh, oh my goodness. I thought we huh. said magic. I thought oh, we said we magic can. too. Right? That's for y'all niggas, man. That's for y'all niggas, bro. But before for I y'all know, niggas, bro. I just want to get this off my chest. <laughs> that shit was not my fault. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are trash. <laughs> and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Y'all are trash. Hey. Like y'all are so trash. I want you to know that I'm talking to you. Hey. So I'm going to say your name. <laughs> then I'm going to hey. call you trash. Hey man, yeah. Bill Five Five Drew a DJ look, man, y'all niggas trash. I look at it, and I say, look man, trash. For some reason I oh, wasn't even really. thinking about Magic. I thought that he was in the two, but then I forgot. <laughs> Kareem <laughs> got his when he wasn't even hey. on the team. Hey man, once again, man, where the hey, Lakers look, at, man? man? We win we so don't. much, we just don't. We be forgetting, bro. I mean, there's <laughs> so many of them. You know, and with that, we're gonna transition to halftime. Yeah, motherfucking halftime. You know what I'm saying? We made, we it, made it this far, far. We made it this far. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And we're not really pressed for time either. We we going on a good trajectory right now. It's good. It's good. Good trajectory. Yeah, I like it. So, uh, halftime. I want to give a special thanks and shout out to the Seven Podcast Network for letting us get this off. Uh, it's much appreciated. Also want to give a special shout out to Something Cinema, a movie podcast by our very own Drew. And make sure you give us a follow on our YouTube pages and uh, at seven at seven dot records to make sure you are updated to all the content and much, much more. Oh, yeah. And uh, with that being said, get your you know merch. Saying, get the merch. Let's get it. Get your merch. Get your merch. Let's transition to the third quarter. It's the film breakdown time. Y'all know what to do. Get ready, get your popcorns ready, get your motherfucking right. notebooks out, because my niggas go. is getting ready to break down this film from game one and game two. So let's get into game one first. Let's We're going to put on the highlights. Whenever y'all feel like telling me to pause, I'll pause at random times. Y'all know how we get it. We're going to go like that. Davis will throw it up. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start, man, right off the rip. Um... Denver did exactly what I thought they were going to do. They're just too big. And I think that was shown early. Like, when you switch everything, Miami's a team that switches everything. You know, they 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 have switchable players. I think all their players can really guard, but all their, all their players are small. Like, they're real little when it comes to just guarding somebody. So, like, Denver just stayed big, and I mean, to your point, it looked like AG was going trying to go for Finals MVP the way he was going at it. Uh, he was just coming down and just he was just running right underneath the basket, and Joker was finding him, and he was just getting everything layups, easy touches, and then that just opened up the game even more. So, I mean, to me, that at least at least the first quarter was no surprise. It was no surprise. Yeah, like you you were saying earlier, I was talking to you, Drew. And Miami be switching way too much, but causing right. a mismatch. So, AG was going to eat like that. And I'm glad he was eating like that. I think that's all he did, too, in the first quarter. He just had four teams just right, chill the rest right. of the game. I was, I was watching him go crazy the whole first quarter. Right. Like, it's but, AG. <laughs> but it's so funny because I just remember, like, when we were talking about it, and we that was, like, one of the people we were worried about. Like, how is AG going to get shots? Yep. Because, you know, Miami going to try to keep him out. And for his point, like, he didn't settle. Like, as you see right here, as Paul's, like, he catching it, he going. Like, he ain't, yeah. no, he ain't thinking... worrying about taking a shot or squaring up and trying to get into the, you know, to the jab step. Like, he catching it going. And uh, he just he just overpowered and bullied and just got himself to the basket every oh, boy. time. Yeah, you ain't got to worry about him as an option. You know that if they're playing single coverage, that unless it's a Hall of Fame player, He's going to win his matchup. And Aaron Gordon is like, he he is very tough because 
he still has that leaping ability. You know, he'll get you low enough and just turn around. You know, jump. Ooh. Right. Um, and he's unorthodox the way he jumps too. I mean, I seen a lot of like backwards jumps, and he just throwing it behind his head. Just got touch. Yep. Right. Just getting, just getting it over his head, just because he can jump higher than everybody. So yeah. yeah. It, I mean, Denver did what they did. When they you're did. number three or number four option, you can ISO. It's just, it's sickening. And he's yeah. bringing the ball up court too. So they, when they not just ISOing him on the big man down there. Wide hey. open. Hey, bro, that's his bad you get, defense. Uh, right, just that's that's, that's defense. what. Yeah. That's what happens when you switch. Well, yeah, you don't and I think they're more comfortable yeah. in zone, man. I think Miami plays a lot oh, more yeah. effective when they're oh, in zone. Oh yeah, for sure. Man. And for when they're sure. man, it looks like it looks like a fish out of water, man, against Joker. For real, for yeah, because it's a bunch of apart. no name, no face niggas on this team. Little, right. they little as hell. I was looking at this, I man. Look, look, you see it here. Look at all these little niggas on the court. <laughs> <laughs> the Nuggets were huge, bro. They look like the monsters yeah. compared to these niggas. Like right. With that, Bam with that, though, six, eight, eight, six, well, you 11, got you know right. You got sure. Caleb go having to guard AG, and it's like the players that AG had to deal Bad with business. before having to see this small of a player. It's like, dude, I had to get LeBron off the block. I had to get shoot over KD. I like this dude is little, you know. I mean, and even I mean, even to like a like a, a lesser degree, but you have yeah. you have slow mo. Like it's it's bigger. Like they, they have to play up against yeah. bigger players, and so as I mean, even just as big as Minnesota yeah. is, like they're big too. They're probably yeah. one of the biggest teams in the West. It's how big they are, you know. Um, before even before. They're still pretty big after the trade, but before the trade, they was arguably one of the biggest teams. If you look at how big their players were, I mean, it's it's hard to – when you have to figure out three teams on how to beat their length, and then you play a team that's small, then it, it, it becomes, like, okay, we're just, we're just picking them apart. They're going to switch everything. We'll just dump it down. We'll get, we'll get options. And then Denver in this game, they were, they were just doubling. I think Denver was in scramble mode. Like – I mean, uh, Miami. Miami was in scramble mode, just like they're too big. They're just beating us to the basket. They're bullying us to the basket. We got to go double. And then it just opened up a lot more. Yeah, like, yeah you take Zell out. That nigga. <laughs> you can't be flopping out. against Joker, you mean, man. That ain't it, man. You can't be flopping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he too. Yeah, yeah. he too good. He too sick. Money. What a pass. Yeah. I make a girl That's one of the shots Drew was talking about right two there. Season. But just, just too much season. Just too too much season on it, man. Just and I think um I don't think I mentioned this though, but like I said, Joe Joker's been my favorite player. Yeah. I mean, y'all know this. I've been talking about Joker for yeah. like six years. Y'all know this. He's been my favorite player and and when people talk about, you know, Denver look different from when they looked in the bubble, for me, I don't really see that. Like, I just think in the bubble, because it was so much guard oriented back then, everybody was looking for a guard to take over a team. And I think Denver wanted Jamal Murray to be that guard. That's why he was getting 50 back to back to back, 40s, all those in the, in the bubble, because the offense was ran through him. But even me and DJ was talking about it too. Like, But that's yeah. also the reason why they lost is because he is – you know, the wild card, too, yeah. at some points. Like, he does take some tough shots at some point. So you need a guy, you need your best player to be the smartest player. And I thought they need to let Joker be the, yeah. the run the offense. And now you see that, and it's back-to-back -back MVPs. Arguably yeah. could have won a third one this year, and now they're in the finals. Um, I think also, like, injury is a blessing in disguise. You need some guys to kind of be out just to see what you have. And, you know, they seen, okay, Joker can't really carry. And so now you get everybody healthy. And it, to me, it's no surprise that Denver is, is even in the finals. But it's no surprise that they're actually controlling as much as they can because they're actually running through their best player, which has always yeah, been, in my opinion, Joker. 
Their best so player, it, it's uh, easy. like undeniably, has been Joker. I think that Joker, I think that Joker learned from the bubble what he had to do and what he was going to come up against. I think the bubble, he, um, it wasn't that he shied away. I think that what they came up against with the Lakers having three bigger players, like three players who were kind of bigger, you know, if you could, yeah, if you can go okay, out there sure. and throw Dwight and then throw a JaVale and then AD is the third guy to see Joker, that's something that he, at that time, he wasn't prepared for. But he's seen it all now. You know, you're, you're not going to have enough to, to, to deal with him. And Jamal Murray, you know, going to your point, Drew, when you're talking about injuries can be a blessing in disguise, Jamal Murray had to learn how to play with more control. Since he was wild, you seen the shots he was making in the bubble, double clutching, the one that he had over LeBron where he switched hands and that, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was so wild that him actually calming down gets him into his shot better. But all in all, this team has better role players than they've ever had at any point in time in Denver's history. Um, the role players that actually know how to, you know, KCP knows how to play with a with a star. You know, Bruce Brown came over there from playing with from with the Nets. You got to know how to play with the play with stars. And if you know how to play with stars, and you're coming in right. here not trying to, you know, get your own, but you're willing to fit in, right? And where where you can, that plays a big part. Like when people say that, you know, you talk about the Heat culture, and and Part of Denver's culture with this team is next man up, you know, and that that's a big deal. You know, you need that type of stuff to where you're almost playing on a string in order to win. I mean, they're up, they're up, what, 16 points right now? That's a nice move by Ooh. Gabe. Yeah, they, they controlled the game. I mean, they, they got up at 20 points at one point. They, they got – Control the lead when it fluctuated, they still had more control. In game one, I never really felt like Denver was out of it. Like Denver or Miami can come back, I'll say. It felt more so like, okay, it's 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 too much that they've already established in the game with we're gonna be big. And once I mean we all hooped. Even in even just sports in general. We I mean we've all played football too. You know when it's that mountain you gotta climb yeah. and you dug yourself in a hole. Whether that's on the basketball court, whether that's on the on the field in football, when you coast for a quarter or just you just not really, um, you know, just in tune with you know with the with the staff or with your teammates and stuff like that, when you just coasting, that that second half becomes really like a real push up that hill, and it just becomes hard to try to come back. It didn't win that. Like it, it's just hard. It's hard to do that sport. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I I was very interested, and in, and in we can talk about this a little more on uh, when we go over the game two footage, but it was a, uh, I guess I'm very interested in the take that Jamal Murray per se is the uh, not the head of the snake and it's Joker because I could I could argue that not that I think that Jamal Murray is the head of the snake, but for yeah. example in this game game two. If you allow Joker to do whatever, you know, score and you take Jamal out of the game, then you find yourself on top versus taking, you know, versus the opposite of it. I see what you're so, saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I, not that I don't think Joker is, is it, I just, not that I don't think Jamal Murray is taking a backseat yeah. because he's not per se, is because he still is the point guard. He's still going to yeah. run the thing. He's still going to take those crazy shots. He's still going to do his thing, but they need him to do those things or it's not, yeah. or the team isn't effective. Right. Versus now, I think the team's just deeper yeah. than, it, let's say, in the bubble, per se. You have bench players. You got AG. You yeah. got who's actually buying in. You got Jeff right. Green, who actually played with Braun, who knows how to play with a, a person who's going to pass and knows yeah. how to be open and be ready for those passes. A young rookie who went to Kansas. Yeah. Who just running balls to the wall, full right. speed? Who just came off a national championship? Champion. Came off a natty. And yeah. KCP, you know what I mean. Your came off a championship. Is, you know what I mean. Came off a championship, so it's different than the bubble with. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Austin that. Rivers, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, no, nah, like to answer to answer your point with is like that I think that's the reason why you gotta put Jamal off the ball. Because if you if you run it through him, then I mean me and Bill you was can't talking be point guard and score. Right. Me that's me and Bill was talking about it too. Like I think the reason why the Lakers actually lost and you know, as soon as Miami won, the narrative switched to how did the Lakers not win a game, which I didn't really like. Um I think for the most part, you got to kind of look at Miami Heat being a culture, being a coach, being being how they ran. But, you know, to, to that point, which is like LeBron, I think this was the first series in LeBron James' career against Denver that he probably wasn't the smartest person on the court. And I think ultimately that affects the game when you have somebody probably just as, I mean, even KCP said it, there's no real difference between Joker and LeBron. They're both, they're both IQ level is too high. You just got one person that's seven foot and Joker is probably just a step ahead too with the IQ with his passing because he's more of a willing passer than LeBron James has been lately because LeBron James is trying to get the record. I'm glad he got the record. So, um, when you're not looking for passes as much and you're looking for scoring, that does something to you and how you even like see the game going into the game for the past three years. And I think Joker for, for him to just want to catch it and find guys, I think you got to be a step ahead. You got to see defenses a lot quicker. You got to know players tendencies. So I think LeBron James was clearly the smartest person on the Lakers, but I think he was battling like, teetering with, with, with Joker, too, like, who's the smartest person on the court? And I think ultimately okay. that shows up to win the games because the Lakers were in every game. But you had a second in game two when LeBron James just came down and took a three just because. And you like, we could have probably got something a little better than that. Joker on the other end is going to get something better than just a come down transition three down two. For you know, when you got and like I just think, seconds left. So like I think I think that's why Denver, you gotta switch the two. You gotta switch Jamal Murray to be he can still be the guard, but you can't have him. Yeah, make I think all that what Miami did that was a good job about this. I don't even think that Jamal Murray, because Jamal Murray didn't even necessarily look like he was pressing it. And when he started pressing it, the buttons was hitting. You know what I'm saying? Like like when he started going on go to end the fourth quarter. It was up. And to go to your point about that, it's like um, Jamal Murray, they have set up their team in a way like in a way it's almost like Kobe and Shaq-esque to where Jamal Murray is just allowed to when he gets it, create how you want to. And you get to play off a joker, right? But for the most part, we want you to just go, stay on the gas pedal, right? I think that what Miami did by going from zone to man and back and forth every time, you take away that pick and roll, which ultimately takes away Jamal. You know, if you take away the pick and roll, then Joker doesn't get to stand at the top of the key and pick you apart. Then. That kind of like what we was talking about with Michael Porter Jr., what happens with bro? Yeah, and right. then – It changes the whole offense. And like you said, when you keep doing it on the fly, little. it just changes everything. Like, you, you're doing it on the fly. Little. Right. <laughs> what you think? Nah, it's, nah it, it, it's for real. It is for real that. Like, it, it is for real that. What Man, I'm just, I'm just thinking about – how big Bam has been for them in these past two games, man. He's he's if he keeps this up, he might win finals MVP. If That's my guy. Wins, like I predict. Yeah. Oh, Bam's yeah. been huge. Bam's my guy. guy. Bam's nice my guy. Breakdown for, I got a nice breakdown for Bam and for uh Spo after we get out of this uh this Yeah, game. okay, cool. So uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say but, my Bam, I'm gonna say my Bam talk for that there because but yeah, I think yeah, yeah, Bam's yeah. been huge. I, I think you. Kyle Lowry, when Kyle Lowry, man, Kyle Lowry, man. Um, 
They are they're the very like different Stockton. teams. Like, yeah, BBL. BBL. <laughs> BBL. Yeah, man. You yeah, yeah, stop BBL, it, man. When, hey, when BBL be confident and pulling that thing, he pulling that thing. <laughs> I done seen BBL and Duncan. So when Duncan yeah. come in off that, that's the difference between game one and they two. Love. BBL, Duncan in that fourth quarter. They love. They love. No, but see, this is what you love and, too. Yep. And this was the yeah. point I wanted to make with the Lakers thing that you were saying, Drew. Why I think the Lakers lost. Okay. This is what I, this is why I think. If you they have no bigs, right? This is what we were saying earlier. Miami doesn't necessarily have the bigs. Yeah. But they do. They have the bodies. So it doesn't matter if you have the quote unquote bigs, you have the bodies to put Joker on here. It's a tough yeah. 44. You got guys that 44, want to get hit. But it's a tough 44. You're getting beat up. Yeah. You got Cody Zeller. You got Bam. You got K Love. You you in there. So it's not like you just AD. Hi, AD. I'm starting this quarter off. It's Hi. AD who can't even motherfucking. Who, he don't want to hit. He don't want to. He don't want to hit. Wanna hit. He don't want to lift weights. He don't want to do nothing. He don't want to. So hit. he and then our backup is <laughs> nothing to Robinson. most skinny niggas. Right, so, right. Dr. So, yeah, Robinson it, came in with that thing. Yeah, right? yeah, he yeah, hit him in three he straight. That heater. Now it's just funny. Yeah, it's just yeah, funny yeah, that yeah. like in your face, nigga. It's just funny that they like that. everybody, that. everybody that we said will make like the X factors. These are the X factors yeah. that need to come in and make yeah. an impact. Literally, I think everybody that we said yep. is the reason why they won game two. You got to play a Kevin sure. Love. You got to let Kyle Lowry get more minutes. You gotta let uh and and to DJ's point, DJ really didn't pick an X factor. He said the shooting. I think they shot like forty eight percent from three that game. No, I think, yeah, yeah. I think Bill said, game one. Bill said that game one, they shot uh thirty three percent from three on game one, and then game two, they shot forty eight from three. Forty eight. So. You see what yeah, I'm saying? That's what so I was like. Man. You know, it, they got it, to the line more too. Well, yeah, that too. too. I think in the fourth, Denver, Denver was just frustrated and they were fouling. And Miami put him in foul trouble early. Like, I think it was like um, 11 to 4 on fouls in the fourth. And I know a lot of people will hear that and be like, oh, that's ref. It's like, no, if you really watch that game, yeah. KCP Denver was just had foul. two KCP like, fouls, man. What you, yeah. At the three point, he had two. <laughs> man, he did. He did. Hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> he always KCP. KCP. He always KCP. Said, but you know who you know who does that too? Yeah, you know he's flying. They Bruce flying. Brown does that too. And this sometimes. one jam just picks up. Just, yeah, and this one jam just started doing it, man. I I thought it was going to be it, man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I said I didn't see this before. Yeah, nah, nah. It was good. It was it was a good ending. It was a good ending. But before we get into more Miami, I will say this: that second game looked more like Denver's Denver's miscommunication on defense denver not really once they this get one. that 15 point lead not really pushing it more and and oh, and going oh, going more they tried to relax a little bit and so i mean the question is can miami shoot 43 percent from three each game right to lose to right. win by three miami's biggest thing and they're made for this see i thought he hit that one uh, uh he hey, was like close. Miami's it's made close. for these grinded out games. Spostra ain't gonna sweat. He ain't gonna be afraid. It ain't gonna be none of that, right? Like, but Denver does has have big shot makers as well. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it you're is. playing that chess game of mm -hmm. Spostra's trying to keep it close enough to where they make a mistake and we're gonna capitalize it. Cause we do have Kyle Lowry. Who's been in these times? We do have Jimmy Butler, who's been right. in this time. You know what I mean? K Love, who's been here. You know what I mean? We just need them, and even Bam has been here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we need these players to do what they do, and we'll we'll figure it out from there. We just need to keep it close. And Denver is so used to, like, all right, we get down 12, we can make that up in, a, in two minutes. You know, they play that style of offense. Right. So it's just a clash of those two different things. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what? Yeah. It's the clash of the culture, for real. Before we continue, before we continue this conversation, hey, hey, hey. we are over. So it is overtime. Hey. First overtime is up. Overtime. So you... Overtime.
should have banged it off. <laughs> That's just sliding. I ain't going to cap it. So, look, I wanted to get into, before we move on to the uh, fourth quarter, for the final quarter, my, I had some I had some questions, and I also had some thoughts on the BAM shit. I think a lot of the questions that I did have, we kind of answered it, why the Kevin Love switch was so important. And um, that was uh, really what I really wanted to ask was making Joker a score really as impactful as everybody's hyping it up to be. Before we actually, before we answer, let me uh, give y'all Eric Spolstra's uh, response to that question. It's probably oversimplifying things, but sometimes when, when teams play against Jokic, you, you turn him into a scorer, you turn him into a passer, and he controls the game. It's probably oversimplifying things, but sometimes when, when teams play against Jokic, you, you turn him into a scorer, you turn him into a passer, and he controls the game. You, he only had four assists tonight. Yeah, that, that's, that's ridiculous. You know, it's just... That's the untrained eye that, that says something like that. This guy's an incredible player. You know, twice in two seasons, he's been the best player on this planet. You can't just say, oh, make him a score. <laughs> That's not how they play. They, they have so many different actions that just get you compromised. Uh, we have to focus on what we do. Um, you know, we try to do things the hard way. Um, and he requires you to do many things the hard way. Um, and we, he has our full respect. <laughs> he said that did. He was mad. I'm telling him. Don't ask you no stupid ass shit like that. Fucking up my game. Yeah, he I'm like, man, y'all keep asking He right. You good. You dealing with a LeBron James. Okay. Yes, you're dealing with a Stephen Curry. You're dealing with a Magic Johnson. You're dealing with one of the greatest players to ever play the game. You're not going to necessarily outsmart him. You got to outwork him. So I get it. Uh, if he scores 40 points, look, man, he could have won that game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if he get 30, 12, and 12, he probably going to win that game. It's just, hey, man, look, we trying to keep a body in front of him, and we trying to get the most points at the end of the game. However it come, it come. You know, it's one of them Shaq things. You know what I'm saying? What? You gonna be happy that you blocked one of his shots? He didn't get fifty. It's like, come on, man. Nah, man. We just trying to get the dub. Hey, you got man. anything on it? I'm just hey. My prediction, man. They need to. They need to do more of that. I feel like, yeah, Joker's gonna be great regardless. But that's something that we already established in the last episode. But. Nobody else, not that they shot bad or anything. Denver didn't really shoot that bad. Just had nobody else in 20 points besides Joker. I think that's important. I think that is important because when Jamal Murray and Joker go off, Jimmy Butler and Bam have to keep up. And so what we were saying earlier, Miami has to play that sort of game where they dirty the game up or they're not going to survive. They have to play that sort of game. They don't have that consistent of an offense to where yeah. they can afford to yeah. – not get stops. You know what I mean? So right. I feel like um, you still have to do the same thing. You still have to keep everybody else under 20 points if you're going to stay in contentions for this championship. That's real. What you got, Drew? Yeah, I think I think he I think he believes what he's saying. But the five <laughs> point, I think. Hey, man, my ass hurts in this shit, y'all. I'm sorry, <laughs> bro. I know my face is just something crazy, but like, God <laughs> damn, my bad. I'm gonna cut you off. Nah, like, nah. <laughs> nah, I think, um, like I said, I think he believes what he's saying, but to five's point, I think that is the game plan. <laughs> like, you can't let him get, you can't let him get ten assists because he's gonna get thirty points. Like, yeah. now if you let him affect the game to where. Look, if you get ten assists, you at least at least yeah. accumulated twenty points, at least. So if you letting him That's get fit. thirty points and ten assists, I think right. I think I think he does believe it. Like, look, he gonna get dimes worth no matter what. He gonna score no matter what. He believes that. But on his paper, he's writing: Don't let Jamal Murray get twenty. Don't let MPJ get a corner three. Don't let KCP get two threes off. And when you think about that, what does that end up being? Joker only getting four assists. So that's the game plan, yeah. even though he's not going to say it's the game plan. 
You got anything, DJ? Uh, one thing I will say, uh, in that fourth quarter that Miami was running, it looked like they were kind of keeping Bam on AG, having him wrong, kind of doing what the Lakers was doing a little bit with AD. And I like that. And the difference with the Heat and the Lakers, like Lakers yeah. had Rui on Joker doing that. Now you have Jimmy on Joker doing that. Not saying Jimmy, no one's going to stop Joker. It's just a different yeah. defender on Joker now since – you know, and he'd be on the three point line. So it's just a different de- different defender with Ben washing the paint. So uh and what Spo was saying, yeah, Joker, I mean he gonna have nights when he do go for fifty and forty, and uh, that's the plan and you have no one else score. But they had so many offense, so many sets. <laughs> it, it's hard to keep him from a triple double. So Hey, and I and I and I like that <laughs> so, point I mean, that you were saying, even having Having the difference is going back to that Lakers and what Miami was being able to do is you only have to do that for a second, bro. We about to go to the zone in the next possession. You only ain't got to stay in that. Yeah, yeah listen, and you got to stay zone. with your and back to the basket. Yeah. Joker ain't going to just catch it there four zone. possessions in a row. We going to the zone. So Bama be back over here in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think in game two though, it, it kind of surprised me because both teams were uncharacteristic in their defense. Miami gave up a lot of like fast break, just opportunities. I mean, just getting like even even to the point where it wasn't it wasn't really necessarily like they were scoring off of it, but just when you're lazy coming back on defense, now you can't set up in the zone quick, when, and y'all supposed to be in zone, or you got somebody on somebody that's. They're not supposed to be on. Now you in scramble mode. And like like to Denver, I've seen them over helping at times where they didn't need to. And you just left guys like Gabe Vincent wide open, Duncan Robinson wide yeah. open, or you're switching unnecessarily. And now you got somebody on Duncan Robinson and he's or even like the mismatch, uh even the, the miscommunication when Duncan Robinson turns the corner and gets the layup. And he flexing at he flexing on the listen, whenever Duncan Robinson flex. They 100% in the game. Hey, they don't lose to Duncan Robinson. That Jimmy Neutron going crazy. What up, Jimmy? That nigga's still going nuts. They don't lose them games. So, yeah, man. Yeah, it was uncharacteristic. So, I want to get my thoughts off real quick on uh, on Spo and then it's centered around Bam, and then we can uh, move on. So, I wrote them down. So, everyone keeps talking about, you know, making Joker score all that. Mm -hmm. But for me, I feel like the real key is centered around Bam. Spo starts the game with his back to the basket in the low post. First half, it's really just a misdirection. Like, and this is why I consider Spo really the GOAT, like when we was asking who's the better coach. He's willing to sacrifice his scoring in the first half Mm -hmm. because he knows that that's where Bam's least effective, which is on the low Mm -hmm. post. But only to switch it in the second half. Right in the second half is Bam all in the high post, top of the key, taking the ball up for mm-hmm. there where he's more effective. So, for example, from game two, it's low post, first half, eight touches. Low post in the second half, one touch. High post, first yeah. half, four touches. Second half, 10 touches. Top mm-hmm. of the key, three touches yeah. in the first half, 13 touches in the second half. He's given them a pretty much a false sense of confidence to save his best offense to the last end, which gives the which by letting Joker thinking, you know, other people are gonna score, Bam's not really in that effective. We can slag off him, which putting him in an effective role in the second half where they blitz. And that's why in game two, it was really yeah. effective because they started off with everybody hot. So with Bam being the least hot nigga because he's in the least effective role, it keeps them close in the game. So when they switch it and now everybody's still doing the same thing, but now Bam's efficient, it makes the game where it it, it makes it very interesting with the chess matches and everything. Right. So I think he got mad at that because it does play a factor, but it's not really what that's like. If somebody's te- telling a mad scientist, this is what I think you're doing. And it's an insult to me because yeah. I'm really doing something completely different that you haven't noticed yet. So I felt like it was a both a both take on it. And that was one thing that I kind of noticed. I'm like, man, just looking it up, I'm like, this nigga is getting the ball a lot in the 
in the post, in the low post, and he ain't killing. But they did the same thing in the first game, same thing in the second game. Yeah. It just worked out in the second game because yeah. everybody was hot as far as to keep the game close versus mm. in the first yeah. game, it was already And keeping, to your point, Uno, point. keeping Bam in that high post in the second half, what you saw, saw from Joker that you – that you didn't really see in game one was him reach for the bounce pass that got back to Bam. When he's reaching for that pass to try and get, get that steal, Bam could pick which side he wants to go to for that jump hook. And then it's money. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you catch him lean, if you catch Joker leaning to one side to try and, you know, cause Joker knows the pass is coming, you know what I'm saying? But you almost using his cerebralness or his smarts to you know, to his disadvantage to where he's like, all right, he's going to play the pass. So go ahead and just settle into your jump shot at the, or that push shot at the mid range, just settle into it. To your point, that's really actually nice observation. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll say this. Um, People keep talking about Denver's offense, but Miami got some sets too. And and one thing that um one thing that's really dope in these finals that I I'm, I'm gonna say it now so that you know when it catch on <laughs> y'all listen to the pod when it catch on you know people can come back and be like yo they was on to something this is the first finals we've seen yeah. that the offense both runs teams. through the five man for both teams. top of the key yeah. five too yeah, for sure and to your point right they both bringing up the ball running it and. And like like you said to your point, they got sets where Bam is in the high post doing these these dribble handoffs, these DHOs with with other people or these high or these these pitch screens and, and get the ball back. And then when you throw him into the low post, he act like he's gonna post, then he'll just run to a Kyle yeah. Lowry and give him a handoff from the post and now they're in other action. And so like I mean everybody's talking about Denver offense, but I'm looking at my Bro, they got some sets too because they're running through when the they, five. When they hit, when they hit, they hit. Yeah, when yeah, they have a five. They have a five. They technically have a five out, but it's with a but other than Jimmy and Bam, it's all shooters. Right, everybody's a three yeah, point right. shooter, so you can end off a floppy three point shooter. Right, so you running off a floppy with one nigga, with that ball action not there, but all the attention is on. Let's say Vincent. Yeah, we kick that shit to. Caleb Martin or Max Stro or Duncan Robinson, right? Or, and, and or it's a even, buttermilk, or even K Love. And I and I know you wrote it down, so I'm gonna just mention K Love for a quick second. Is that's one thing Miami has on Denver because they got four shooters around Bam. Jokic only has three yeah. shooters around him because AG's not really a shooter. So I've seen a lot of kickouts to K Love for three. Yeah. And K Love's IQ is up there too, to where he'll be able to swing it one. You didn't left Jim get past it or do you know what I mean? something else. He didn't found Jim in the corner. You know, Jim right. 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 But then but then Jimmy could just be Jimmy. Because Jimmy only want to get to the fourth <laughs> in the last three minutes. That's only where he want to get to. Go get him to the last three minutes, then he can go put two fouls on somebody, go shoot some free throws. Jimmy will end up with eight points in the last three minutes, just off, just off the strength. And he was way more aggressive in game two than game one. Yeah. Game one, he ended up with thirteen. Then game two, he had like around twenty three, twenty four, twenty five as average. So he's just more aggressive for sure. Also, but, um, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was gonna say I also like how they. I'm glad Miami is running set because if you look at yeah. all the other teams, it was a lot of pick and roll action. And Joker was just watching the pick and roll. It wasn't really working. Joker, same with MPJ. Like, these are not defenders. Murray, they're not defenders. So now when you get running sets, having them chase the shooters, having them go with pick and roll, back cuts, Joker got to watch the paint and the pick and roll. When so much, he, that's how you work them, for real. Because yeah, when it gets true. to the offense, then they might hey, get tired, point. fatigued. So, yeah, that's right. You know, Facts. They boys going to be playing 48 minutes, too. Facts. <laughs> that's real. That's real. Well, y'all know what time it is. The next motherfucker coda. Fourth it's coda time. Fault. Every fourth motherfucker coda. <laughs> we try to do some fun for the fans, for everybody watching, everybody that's paying attention. It's the fantasy draft. 
you know what I'm saying? You know, we're doing it, like I said, it's all about the finals this episode. So I have put the teams or put the players that are available for the list in the chat for my fellas to pick. And uh, how we going to run this one was last time. DJ had the first pick overall. Yes, sir. But you know, got the repeat. It looked, it oh, looked yeah. like five won the vote. Oh, it that's like five crazy. The on the on the on the thing. So he's uh that's he's crazy. the first. He got the first. Dub. Come on with it. Come on with it. Dub. Come on oh, with God it. Damn. Come on with it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So five is one and zero. One and zero. I get the first pick. So what that means is my brother gets the first pick overall in this draft. Hey, so how how so, we doing it? We just doing it just like we got go, 20 and then we just know, picking 20 or? So look, nah, so look, we picking your starting five. Every time it's your starting five. All right, starting so what's five, up? We going five guard, point guards right now? We going point yeah, guards first? You got to, nah, you picking however you pick it. It's a draft, you brother. However you pick it. It's a draft, It's a draft, brother. brother. But you just. Same way. Just make sure. I Dude. see what you try to do over there. I see what you try to finesse over there. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Good competitor. He was trying to get him Jordan. He was trying to get him Jordan. I see what he was doing. But look, so we're going to go into it. Drew 5-5 five, five got the first pick. Drew got the second pick. DJ got the third pick. Bill got the fourth pick. I went off of, you know, the vote oh, they of the disrespected teams. me, man. And uh, who had the best teams in the last draft. They disrespected so, you five, right? <laughs> you hopping in there, right, Jay? No, uh, no, I wasn't gonna hop in, but I, I can. Yeah, I think. But I wasn't going to, cause you know it ain't, it ain't fair. You know what I'm saying? But nah, I nah, nah, get in there. I wasn't gonna hop in. Uh, cause there ain't even four point guards. Are there ain't even five point guards? There's only four. Ain't so no, y'all got it. Mars in there, man. Hell no, nah, I already lost. You put Joe Dumars there, point guard. <laughs> So look, we're gonna run it like this. Five got the first pick. What you got, five? Jeffrey. Oh, no, my bad. My bad. I apologize. Jeffrey. My bad. I apologize. Michael Jordan. Jeffrey undefeated Jordan. Jordan. First see, overall, this, we ain't gonna see, hold twice. This, see, this is when it gets crazy because I don't want to be disrespectful. Drew, you up. I don't want to be got? disrespectful, but I feel <laughs> like I would be disrespectful. You have to. You have to. Who's up? You yeah. have to. Yeah. I think I got to go with the most dominant player ever, man. I yeah. think I might got to wow. go with Shaq. Wow. Wow. Okay. I like how y'all – I see your strategy. I see your strategy. DJ, you up. What you got? Whew. I'm going to go with Brian this one. I'm going to go with Brian. King James, King third Brian. pick. I say what? I say something. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Bill, 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 it's, it's going Bill, serpentine. <laughs> so I get two picks. Huh? Magic Johnson and Kobe Bryant. Yeah. Oh, who who y'all got again? Sorry. He got Magic Johnson at his one, Kobe at his two. Yeah, Mike. So you got DJ, Mike. Who you got? Magic, Kobe. My bad. I'm just, I'm just pressing that. No, you good. Oh, man. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and give me uh I can run I can I can run a person who be at the four, I can run at the five, right? Yeah. Go ahead and give me Timmy. Damn. Timmy at the five. Go ahead and give me Timmy. And then uh right. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna run at the five. No, you're not you're not who would you want to oh, you wanna just bad. continue it? We'll just leave it. We'll leave it right now. You can come back. You can always move four or five. Okay, yeah. Drew, who you got? I, I got to find that pair with Shaq now, man. I got to find that pair with Shaq. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't bad. I think bad. I'm going Kevin. KD? I think I'm going KD. Big KD. Which Are y'all serious? <laughs> oh man, Kareem and Steph. Come on now. What are we doing? Let's go. Yeah, you had the you had the serpent. You had the serpent. He was coming back. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was looking at Steph, but I knew you was gonna get KD if I well, didn't get him. Little. 
And then your team would have been, yeah. Well, not yeah. Kareem, but Steph. We going I big think. over Kareem? here, man. We doing it big. Right, right. I think I think I'm going Larry Legend. Larry Legend. I'm going shooters yeah, you, around. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. KD and Larry. That ain't bad. What you got, DJ? This is me. I'm think I'm I think I'm gonna go with defense right here. Really a two way. I'm gonna go with Kawhi. Put him at the two. Big Kawhi at the two. <laughs> and okay. I'm going to probably go got, with. Oh, I'm so mad because I want three players right now. Oh, um, I'm probably going to go with Akeem Elijah on and Dirk Nowinski. <laughs> oh, you took my pick. You took mine. I was trying pick. to go. I was trying to go big. Dang. That's nice. I should shit up. Damn, it's a long time until it gets to me, man. Yeah, it is. All right, recap after these last two picks. So, what you got? What you got, DJ? I'm gonna go and go pick up my point guard and pick up Zeke. Got Zeke up That's a point. good one. What you got, Drew? Dang, five got me. Okay, okay. I mean, I could run Larry at the foe. It's small, but what, what year is <laughs> it? Ain't is it, that what you said? Is it this year? I mean, Ain't I can, that what you said? I got two. I got Kevin, too. I can run it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of them, one of them. Okay. I think, I think, though, I think I got to go with. Okay. Tough. I'm going Flash again. D-Wade. Give me D-Wade. <sighs> Give me flag. That's my hey. That's my guy too. So I gotta go with three so ways. You want me to? You got your pick, and then we are gonna take a break. Yeah, I'll right. Give you a recap. So who you got? Giannis. Oh yeah, we beat y'all. Oh yeah, we beat y'all. Yeah, let him shoot. Let him shoot. Yeah, let him shoot. I don't think you beat me, dog. Hey, let him shoot. He you come in on Shaq all day. Boy. Come here to Shaq you got all nothing day. My back <laughs> Kareem got that sky hook on Shaq all day. What are we talking about? Okay. All right. Let you me, got let old me Kareem, name, though. Let me name. No, I don't. I got, hey, don't do that. No, let hey, me name hey. the team. God damn it. <laughs> five, five with the first pick. His four picks so far. He got Steph at the one. Michael Jordan at the two. Uh, Giannis kind of at the four. And Kareem at the five. That's he only got good. four players? That's kind of good. Yeah, Mike he only Steph. got four. Kind of. No right oh, then he comes. Everybody's an MVP on my team up. so far. Drew got D Wade at the two, KD at the three, Larry Legend at the four, Shaq at the five. <laughs> Ooh, this. DJ got Zeke at one, Kawhi at the two, Bron Bron at the three. Tim Duncan at the five. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Hey, we're going to be locking and running. And Bill got <laughs> Magic Johnson at the one, Kobe at the two, Dirk at the four. Oh, that's about to be the Hakeem lunch, at the boy. five. Oh, I don't know why I got his team is still up there. <laughs> and we have the last pick of the finest. If the Kareem going to have to get out there, huh? And we on 5-5. Five, five. What we doing? Five. Hey, it's cool, man. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool, man. All right, so I need means a three. You know what? Your available threes? Yeah, I see. Are... I see, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I might don't want Paul Pierce. Work. I'm not going Paul Pierce. No, sir, re Bobby. Yeah. Not taking Paul Pierce. Okay. James Worthy. Hey, James, you, <laughs> you is not shooting, brother. That's good, man. That's We're good. We're getting buckets yeah, that's every good time because because buckets every time. Hey, good luck scoring on the three. Oh yeah, good luck because with because with my pick, <laughs> with my pick, I'm gonna slide D Wade to the one again like I yeah. did last time. 
and I'm getting Paul Pierce. Yeah, you went with the Wade Shack to my team. Yeah, yeah. I went with Wade true. Shack, 33, 35. I'm gonna choose 35. I ain't choosing seven. Give me 35. <laughs> I ain't give me 34. Shoot. DJ, you up? What you got? Man, I don't know. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, my team. What's those last? What's those last two players? If you got the list, there, what's those last two players on there? So you got right now, so far for your position, and what position is you looking for? Five. I'm or looking four, for a four, four, five, three. Four, I'm trying five, to see who the best four, will. Yo, <laughs> all right, so. I'll give you a little GM work because I know you know yeah. I know Bill ain't Bill ain't going this way because you know I know he needed three, so I'll give you a little work. You know what I mean? What you could do is you could put Braun at the yeah, four, Kawhi at the three, and go Joe Dumars at the two. Mo defense. You can also you can go Moses Malone because he's the best five available. That's what I was looking at, but I would try. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm trying you to say. You can go Iggy if we going if we going if we going nah, Hall of Fame Iggy. Iggy. I ain't going Iggy. You know what I mean? You take Iggy out. If we going, you know, oh, Finals God, MVP. I almost got Iggy. Iggy and Iggy. You could go. You could go real small like they used to do back in the day. You can go Zeke and you can go. You know, Tony Parker. You know what I mean? Bad boys it up. Two point You know, it's up to you, man. See, I think I'm a. I think I want to. I think I want to run. Yeah. Ain't no wrong bringing back yeah. the bad boy Pistons. Then I'm gonna go with Joe Dumars, and he. I that think I need some shooters yeah. too. So, yeah. What well, got, Bill? What you got? I feel like my team is really, really good at scoring the basketball. Uh, we're gonna be able to play fast. I just think that I want to play a little bit faster. And I want to be able to offset some of the hype. So mm. instead of going, what I'll do is I'll take, I'll take, um, I'll be the one to take Iggy. Play D. Yeah, I think that's a good Going to help Magic yeah, Johnson too. bring it up. Going to be able to get Kobe open. Facts. He the one that's than, be running for me. More than all that, oh, yeah. right. I just need him to do he nothing but lock down whoever in front of him. With him and Kobe, the perimeter on lock, boy. And Magic going back step all the way down into the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to address something, if I may. You know, there's a lot of speculation on the One. shooting of my team, but I want it to be known I have the best shooter of all time on my One. team. I, I'm matching. And the best closer of all time. On That's team. who I'm worried about. I'm, I'm, I'm matching. Why you do <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like that line. Everybody is an MVP on my team. Except for uh, MVP. MVP. one on my team. Who 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 MVP? MVP? Everybody That's on the MVP. But this is what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's a fucking MVP. Everything, MVP. everything MVP. that you doing with Jordan, man. We going I'm back going to back. Kobe Bean. Yeah, that's how I'm worried about too over there with you. I ain't gonna lie. When I look at y'all, the all three teams, I'm worried about because I'm pretty sure y'all picking the best versions of them players when they won. So right. I'm worried about Kobe. I'm worried about Mike. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all can't see that. I'm, I'm worried about Bron. Them the three I'm really worried about. Yes. Okay. Them three. Yeah. But then I got a method of just yeah. sending a Shaq. Cindy. And Shaq was getting eight blocks, nine blocks. Hey. I got oh, you ain't never seen no Giannis. I, no, no, trust Shaq me. Gonna... Giannis ain't never seen no Shaq. For sure. And I'm letting hey, you, so, hey, the thing is with your team, boss, is like, yeah, you got Mike. I'm scared of that, dude. Steph, just rough him up. Just rough Steph up, make it difficult, <laughs> run him off the line, send him to Shaq, Shaq, scooping that off that, scooping that floater. 
act with your scoop in that floater. Who else you got on you your do, team? Are, you, are we being for real right you now? You ain't got enough. Who else you got on your are team? Are we being for real? Who else you oh, got, man. Good. You ain't got good. James Worthy, Greek shoot. Freak, and Kareem. Oh, yeah, I got it's a lot of hate in got, here, man. There's a lot of hate going on in here, man. Let a lot of people trying to discredit. Come on, man. I got you. Got Come got on, you. man. Who let him shoot? Who DJ got? Who DJ got? Back to back. Uh, I got, I back to back. The best defender. I got the best passed the ball. I got the best Who passed the ball? Because listen, who going to get the ball? Who's who gonna get the ball to Kareem? Man, man? We're gonna be we gonna figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all niggas gonna do nothing. We're gonna, we gonna figure ball. that out. Oh. It's gonna get to Kareem, damn it. If I'm the coach, going nah, if I'm the coach, nigga, hey, hey, if I'm the coach, that's the number one option. Stop playing yeah. with it. Oh, Kareem. Hey, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, yes. Um block um you can't do nothing with his shot. Just Too much bad. Hey, Giannis yeah, yeah, play the same game. Giannis got you way more money done. <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all niggas definitely playing 80s ball, boy. It's a whole lot of discrediting going on <laughs> yeah, in here. Yeah, we gonna help <laughs> off. Team, we man. gonna help off Giannis for sure. Shoot them Krabby Patties to the rim all day. We gonna and let the people decide. Guy. Look, man, it's time to get toxic. We gonna let the people decide. Giannis is my guy. It's time to get toxic though. <laughs> Shoot them Krabby Patties all you want at the rim. <laughs> hey, y'all have never seen these Hall of Fame players before, man. You can shoot them. Shoot them. Come in there on Shaq. I know one person you ain't stronger right. than on my team. I'm just hoping that's Shaq. Keem, you ain't stronger I'm just hoping that the Keem Elijah you want <laughs> do to Shaq what he did in the first time when Shaq was in Orlando. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the reason why I'm scared I of picking Keem, Orlando Shaq. I need a Keem to come ready. Keem. I know what Dirk, I know what <laughs> finals MVP Dirk going to be. DJ, DJ's team Y'all foul. is Zeke, Y'all Joe foul. Dumars, Kawhi, Braun, and Tim. Y'all locked running. up. We running. Y'all oh, yeah, Zeke fouling. <laughs> oh, Zeke, we, we know, running fouling? We that team, running five. Five. Your team should be locking Tim down everything. Tim at the five. We running. Yeah, y'all sure running. Y'all pretty good. We putting Kawhi. We putting Kawhi on Mike. <laughs> good luck. All them niggas. It's gonna be good luck for all these. Kawhi niggas, gonna get gonna his bucket too. Kawhi. He gonna get them. his bucket. Yeah. Yeah. And Kawhi gonna come down and score on Jordan. Tough. Tough. I'm curious. We don't know who Jordan gonna guard. Jordan Tough. ain't guard nobody in the finals. I have my team. Tough. My team is too big, man. Too much cinnamon. Too much cinnamon roll. It's gonna be too much cinnamon roll up here, man. Off the top of the head. Your team is just big, yo, yo, you, yo, I don't know about your your lateral movement. The way your nah, team lateral movement. Shot. I don't know. It's they do. gonna be fouled out. They ain't gonna get flagrant yeah. tools. Like, like, who's gonna set a pick? Mini boy. Like, who gonna set a pick for y'all? Nah, like, Shaq. like uh, who gonna who gonna Shaq. Shaq on just Shaq and roll it. Everything just gonna okay. go through Shaq. <laughs> look, look, this is gonna be the first quarter. Shaq, <laughs> just go get twenty five in the first. Then when they help, you got KD, you got Larry. You think Shaq uh, gonna ball. eat up Kareem? It's Kareem, Tim, and Hakeem. Hey, Elijah my thing on. is this: Kareem That's who has Kareem been a defensive player. No, he's going to eat Kareem. Yes. I, I personally think so. Yes. Gonna, Kareem never... plays defense. Do not do that. On Prime Shaq. Kareem, the Kareem you're going to pick, the Kareem you're going to pick is not going to be dominant on defense. That's what I'm That's thinking debatable. about. The person I'm the scared of is a kid. The is Timmy. Tim, Tim, <laughs> Timmy's Timmy, going to get monkey done. Timmy going to have to eat five five Lunchables that day. <laughs> Timmy was holding his I'm own. I'm going to be honest. You're going to need dread. You're going to need dreadlock, Timmy. Okay, with Brian with the chase down, we acting like Brian ain't got Hall Timmy of Fame wasn't... chase down. Yeah, he do. I don't know. I, I like all the teams. Honestly. Hey, now I'm be honest. No hard, no when head. you scooped up, other than Brian, when you scooped up, <laughs> when you scooped up, Magic and Kobe, I was oh, like, yeah, we going oh, that hurt a little bit. That hurt a little bit. Hey, yeah, look, you gonna, nah, you ain't you gonna, gonna be able to do that. Magic. You ain't gonna be able to do that because anybody who he anybody who's going to score. Like, what I'm going to do is literally be like, all right, Iggy, you got Braun. Kobe, you got Zeke. 
Joe Dumars ain't gonna go get forty points on Magic Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, I would say I would say with with Bill's team, I say with Bill's team, he can have more of an offense. Like you, I can see Bill's team being in like a triangle because you can put Kobe on the block, you can put Hakeem on the block. You have Magic setting the offense up. Magic can go to the block. Nope. You can do all those guys outside. Yeah, yeah. Magic yeah, can shoot. Nah, but you can put him on the block. Okay, okay put him on the block Hall and then Hall of Fame, right. Dirk Hall of Fame, 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 it's one fucking double overtime. <laughs> <laughs> it's overtime. Six. Do y'all know what time it is? Double overtime. Triple overtime. Hey, they got to not disrespect me. Too, man. They don't know Anton Walker, man. They don't know Anton Walker. They got to not disrespect me this time. Anton Walker. <laughs> yeah, they disrespected. Yeah, they didn't know man. Alex Walker English for real. Thank you. My boy said you had a good you, team, man. man. When somebody shouted your team out. Somebody okay. shouted your team. <laughs> My boy King Guavane. Yeah. Niggas was sleeping on Alex English. Boy, too. they were sleeping on Alex. Alex getting twenty three. Shout out my man. He need to change his name. I'm gonna say it on wax. I was gonna <laughs> give it to myself, but you know, King I can't Wabba be knees, boy. That shit is ass. I hope he ain't a rapper. Anywho, um, is he? I don't know. That's that yes, bro. Yes, yeah, yeah. That nigga rap, bro. That nigga rap. That nigga nice too, bro. He rap. Oh, that's better. You played me. He is nice. Yeah, yeah. He is. <laughs> what is he? <laughs> We're gonna go to the next thing. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, man. You said it on wax, man. I, all right. That nigga's Over important, time. man. I fuck with him. He's hard. Isn't he? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Subscribe. We're talking about you. Appreciate it. Okay. We're giving you a whole fucking segment right now. Like, uh, we're, we're fucking with you too. You know, uh, you know man. He's What up, Kay? Um, yes, overtime. So we're gonna do a game real quick, and then we're gonna get up on that, get up out of here. Two questions. Drew suggested, uh, DJ suggested we do these, so I came up with a couple of them. Giannis, Michael Jordan, Kevin Durant, or Shaq. One gotta go. Oh, I know. Say, say the list again, so I can remember. Giannis, Michael Jordan, KD, Shaq. One got to go. Well, you know who's not going on everybody's yeah. list. Mike is in for me. Man, I'll just get cut to the chase. The person that's out for me is KD. Yep. To be honest. I understand. Yeah. KD hasn't been able me. to do it by himself. KD hasn't been able to do it Facts. by himself. His only chips came from backpacking off the best team in NBA Facts. history. Giannis has led a team in Milwaukee. Without Giannis on that team, they don't, they don't do shit, bro. They probably don't even make the playoffs. So, yeah, I got to leave Giannis on that team. Probably going with KD off that list, too. Dang. I think I'm going with Giannis. Y'all made some good points, man. I think I'm going with Giannis. I think Giannis had a perfect run, the perfect team around. Two defensive players in the years and two. And that perfect game for him to get to the chip. I'm gonna go with Yannis. I'm gonna go with Yannis out of here. Yeah, man, it sucks to say it. I'm KD's. Look, 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 right. look. As, good good as, good good, as good as KD is, Yannis got you to that butter, as man. As good as he is, Yannis has two Defensive Player of the Years and two MVPs. And a chip. KD has one MVP, 
two finals MVPs, MVPs yes. One MVP. But he team. played One against. Two chips. Yeah, LeBron still averaged 40 them entire times. And LeBron didn't have a team to play against that team. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. You know what? I think I'm going to make my decision. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all made some good points. And they had a brother over here really thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. As much as it. Yeah, as painfully it makes me to say this right here, man, I got to go KD too. You got to get him out of here. Because, because I think to what you were saying, DJ, is like Giannis got to have the perfect something around him for him to win again. But so does Kevin Durant without the accolades. Kevin Durant and Kevin Durant has had better teams than Giannis. So for KD had KD had better teams than Giannis, but can you really say them teams was really built around KD? No, the only no, team you no, can say that they, he they built weren't. around. I'll, I'll give you that. Oh, you want to build your team around KD? No, I'll, I'll you give you that. But he so, I'll but that's that. a that's the thing about him. He he can fit he in can, any bro. offense. So, but but yeah, he can fit in any offense, but you can't build a team him. around him because look at what they did build a team around him in the Nets, and he couldn't stay Don't healthy. Work. And you can't build a team around them with the war uh, with Thunder because technically they did. You put the nigga around the playmaker or yeah. defenders because he lacks defender. Like you don't know. he wasn't an elite defender yet, and they had Westbrook. So I mean, and James Harden. So I don't know what what other teams you would yeah, build around I mean, the nigga. That's exactly what he went and got yeah, with Nets. the Nets. Yeah, I mean, he got to the final, but he got to the final with yeah. the OKC team. And then what they yeah. do? What they do though? They they ship James. But so now they right back to the same is, spot where they can't I get think past that the, they uh, have built yeah, I think teams around out KD well, even in, in OKC. What you want with a KD is an elite playmaker who can also get to the rim because KD is the elitist of all elite three-level scorers, right? Somebody who's six foot 11 could hit the three, hit the midi, and get to the rim. So you want somebody who can pass the ball up. And then, but next to him, since he doesn't defend like, like uh like that all the way all the time consistently what they have next to him cephalosha you had guys who play defense next to him right so what you will want really is the teams that he actually had you want to surge abaka next to him those are the no but but why 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 we look Bro, at it like no that. shooters on that team well, one thing one thing i'll say about that's what he wanted that's what he wanted, not necessarily well, the, well, the OKC around. team. What did you say about the oh, OKC team? Well, that's team. what he was saying why he left to go right. to the Warriors was because they, they didn't have, have nothing around it. But I think the thing is with the OKC team is those players that they had, they drafted. So it's a lot different. Right. You can't really it's, – it's hard to move those players. Um, right. I think when you to, – to Bill's point is that – I'll say this. What Kevin Durant is, we've seen him in the scoring role. And one thing that we know, because I think we were all – at one point, the best score on teams is that that gets tiring. Facts. And after you do that for a few years, it gets old kind of quick. You're going to want somebody to kind of come in and be like, okay, bro, I know I can lean on you today to go get 20. And with KD there and, and, and Westbrook, there were that's when the duels was heavy. So every so now you got two players getting 20, 25, 30. So that wasn't that it wasn't that anymore. So now when he looked at the Warriors, he's like, all right, I got three, I got two other dudes. I'm on the only team in the league right now that got two other dudes with him that can go get 22, and I can just sneak in and get 20. KD I don't doesn't really got distribute. Carry That's the biggest thing. The biggest did. reason why he went so to Golden like, State is because you I got think, four other guys out there that distribute the basketball. You don't have to distribute. And that's part of the reason why he struggles winning without that team. Is because when you ask KD, when the double team comes, can you find the open guy? He averages three assists. It's hard, yeah. Yeah, he's turning the ball. I mean, you, I mean, you look at him a few times this year it's, it, in, in, against top teams. It's like he's turning over the ball. 
coming out of double teams. I, I mean, all three of, I mean, all five of us actually, we've never I liked think, AD bringing the ball up. We've always wanted him to catch it in the mid post, it's and a that's the thing that the Warriors did, which was when he catches it, now you can't help. And that's I can't, the main. I can't, point. but I can't. You can't go off this season because if you gonna go off this season and say all that, you have to go off the whole season. Where Brooklyn, they started off struggling. Where I really right. towards the. When, once they started yeah. going, they went on like a 15 game winning streak and off of KD. So KD was doing his thing, but then once he switched to a new team, that's a whole new team. But since KD fits like a glove on any team, he's going to be able to put up his numbers and do what he do and fits yeah. with the offense. But when you don't have no off season, you know, full 82 games with that same team, yeah. you're not going to gel when you go against a Denver team that's been together for three, four years already. They put brought in players that fit Joker, KCP, Bruce Brown. So it's like you can't really go next year. That's when I'm really gonna go see what KD. Because if this is another year where Book hurt again or he get hurt again in the season, and if it's all that again, then yeah, for sure I'll probably pick KD over Giannis. But for me, Giannis. I mean, I understand Giannis got two yeah, MVPs, I think so. but. And uh, and uh, do he got two defensive players? Yeah. Okay, he uh, you gotta think yeah. he also won a new age player, which is yeah. he can play one through five, six eleven, and he a big technically. Yeah. So he gonna have three blocks. That's what all defensive players of the year go to is big. Yeah. So he gonna have the uh, accolades because yeah, that's the kind of player he is now. Yeah, he's a throwback KD, player. But that's the reason more why, just, to your point, fit in, DJ, when do you his said he could play go. in any yeah, system, yeah. the reason why he could play in any system, because he's not going to be asked to do nothing other than what he always does. He's never going to be asked to find the corner guy. He's never going to be asked to, to set up the offense. He's not. You get to play off of – well – But he done it before, though. No. Nah. Is he excellent as y- Giannis and him is on the same board when you talk about that? Uh, well, Giannis yeah. is just now starting to hit a little past KD when it comes to that. But Giannis, to me, nah, ain't really this, get, he this just got I'm swept. This, this, is, not swept, but he just KD lost KD to swept. you first he seed can <laughs> get 10 assists? Yeah, but how often? How often do you think KD's going to get those understand. 10 assists? And that's, right. because that's not his role. But his he's role more is to go get. Yeah, lucky. but that's now, the whole he double double team. Yes, he will pass it out. I mean, like, but like, but like, I think like to the point that we're all trying to make with KD is that the best of the best players can mix it up, right? We just seen we just seen Joker's leading the the playoff this year in triple doubles, but he'll go get a forty bomb without a triple double because he can mix it up. Yeah, LeBron James. Right. LeBron James is probably the king at that. He'll come and yeah. get a triple double one game and then just say, you know what, I'm gonna just put up a fifty on your head. Just because I can go get it. K I don't think K D can be like, you know what, I'm getting double teamed. I'm gonna just distribute and go get twelve assists. Now can he do it? Have we seen it before? We've seen no. it before. But how many times I think we can all count on maybe one hand how many times that he's done it this year so it's it's say, it's a little bit more of like i'm looking at it like the accolades like they both need the perfect thing around them but with the perfect thing around them who's done more with that and i think it's being on them yeah i think it's just a simple question <laughs> It's, it's just a simple not even that it's a simple question like when you build a basketball player in every aspect of building a basketball player what are the four fundamentals that a nigga needs to do in basketball you need to be able to score pass defend and rebound yeah if you can do all four of those then you are considered the best basketball player in basketball and the other two niggas that yeah. don't consider those yeah. are the most dominant players in basketball history, which is in Michael Jordan and Chet. So if you're only going to, if you're, if those two niggas are certified on the list because they're the most dominant and then there's one more spot, then it has to be the nigga who marks off all four of those categories. Because I can give you 50, yeah. I can give you 10, 
I could give you 10, I could give you five, and I could give you five. So every aspect of basketball is covered versus KD, who we have to, we can argue holes in his game. So that alone doesn't put the nigga in it. Because if we say that Giannis can't yeah, score, right, right. That's the same argument y'all said with Braun, yeah. and he's the leading scorer in the entire basketball history. So it's the same verse, same game style, yeah. not as the same level, but the same game style. I don't know how long he can sustain that, but right now I'm just going to say the two-time defending, two-time defending champion going to be in that bitch for sure. And I, I, I'd rather have KD. I don't, I, I'd rather have KD. Right. right. Anybody like, drafting I would rather KD, have KD over Giannis. But, I'm not no, you're not drafting. Okay, y'all know DJ ain't budget. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'm no. not. Okay. Y'all know DJ. Day, no, he ain't budget. We budgeting. gonna go. Who we go? Mike, Shaq, KD, and then we draft Giannis. We ain't drafting Giannis, bro. I understand what he got. He gonna stand on that island. I respect it. <laughs> I'm taking KD, bro. <laughs> so look, we got one more. We got one more, and hopefully we, this ain't too long. But I will be arguing. If who I think gonna get kicked off this, Here list, we go. Kicked off this list, so we gonna see. Get Bron out of there. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. All right. Mm. All right. So we got De'Aaron Fox, Ooh. Shea, Mello, and Ae. Who getting kicked out? Who's oh yeah, out? that's easy for me. That's easy for me. <laughs> Yo, get it. Go ahead and get hey. Melo off it. Melo. <laughs> Do this to him. Go ahead and get Melo off it. Uh, hey. Do this to him, man. Cause you know, hey, you know my boy down there. Yeah, he's not in the combo. So he ain't in the, the combo no more. I'm picking. I'll he pick. He right. no more. It's really shy. I'll say this, man. Hold on. Look. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's. If I take away this year when LaMelo wasn't injured, LaMelo has – the game to win. I don't know if AE. I don't know if AE gonna do it, bro. Like I don't know. I don't know. Hey, all right, all right. So look, Lamelo, Lamelo do don't play the defense right, that right. AE plays. Talk to him. He he he's a dog. But I don't know, man. Dog. Hey. He's a dog, bro. But we can can we all right? Can we eat? Can we? Cause 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 we we checking off the what, list. What makes what <laughs> makes somebody like De'Aaron yeah. Fox right? Let's just say example for De'Aaron Fox right. <laughs> they lost in the first round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So all that other shit don't fucking matter because all these niggas is all stars. Yeah. We're talking about all all stars mm-hmm. here. Yeah, they made, they made they made it two made years in a row. Except for the Timberwolves. Yeah. So what? So they actually, they just made it. And they lost in the yeah. first round too. They made it last so, year. Yeah. Other than the Thunder, the Thunder are only niggas that didn't make it to the playoffs. Yeah. So my whole thing is, what makes somebody like Shea, yeah, who was first team on NBA? So I actually get his argument more than I get the other three. Either way, if you going with, but what makes somebody like Melo the consistent of being off, and Darren Fox or AE? Or yeah. get the get the certified nod because I don't think it's that that clear cut to me. Well, like, for the area not, Fox is shy. I feel like not saying that Lamelo cannot lead a team. That's not what I'm saying. I like Melo's game. I like what he does. But I just like the way that they lead their teams better. I feel like they have more pressure than Lamelo does in their organizations, and they perform. So where you can't <laughs> when we talk about. <laughs> That's the thing about recency bias, which is what we're talking about, and, and which is fine. And I don't want to get too much into that because I'm not trying to sound like I'm bashing. <laughs> but when we talk about recency bias, like it's crazy. Like it is crazy no bias, because, bro. like, no, it, 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 it is yeah. though. Because without, if you take out this season and take out Melo, like you said, take out Melo's this season injury. Take out De'Aaron Fox going crazy this year. What the fuck has De'Aaron Fox did prior to? That? I can't do that. I'm he's not going on a losing of record with Melo. Yes, I'm going off of De'Aaron Fox. What he's been able to do I, up I until this point, but for sure. 
that's he didn't make an all star. You can't go off all star votes yeah. because at the end of the day, you already know who's who's those top three guards in the in the West. Who who the guards over in Melo is really going against? And he really made it because people got hurt. So I mean, you can say the same thing about Fox this year, but it's just the East guards and West guards is no. I mean, East yeah, West. I just think West <laughs> guards, especially those top three, it's hard to get I over them. I think that's cap too. I think oh, okay. okay I'm gonna... I think that's cap too. Cause you got Steph. Name me another nigga in and Dame. Job. Name me another nigga. But Steph, Dame, Dame not even gonna make you it. You're not those guards gonna three? make it. Who? Ja. Ja Morant. You don't want to have this conversation with me. We don't want to oh, be in here too goodness. long. Y'all, we don't want to be in here too long, but you don't want to have that conversation with me. Ja to me. Just run. He jumps. just running. Hey, I'm after not you saying take he's away, running and jumping. You take away the running jump. The what square. the fuck is God doing? Yeah, look, Period. skill. He talks about. I'm not, I'm not even. Yeah, Who skill. I'm not saying that he. Um, that's not all he's doing. You can say that by Giannis. Giannis, all he's doing, running and jumping. You but, can take that away. What it's proven. You take that away I from John. He's still averaging bad. them numbers though, and still getting his team to the second and first seed and third seed. So he having the impact that if Melo's not in the having. first round, does that shit fucking Okay, matter? I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. At least does he's getting to the playoff. Me? I can't say Melo going to stay healthy on my team. He haven't shown me yet. For me, You can say I'll the say... same thing about Fox. Fox haven't shown me yet either until yeah, yeah. this year. No, if you're going to say the healthiness, I get okay. that. That's, you know, that's a, a him and, argument. Him and Shea was the two argument. main ones that for who, me, who just was, because they was always hurt. Who that was, was the only two. Oh, it was Ant. It was Ant, man. <laughs> okay, look, I'm going to say this. Y'all Shay. give it Ant this consistency. This nigga both to me, son. I don't know what y'all passing like this nigga up for. Like what it, is it? Ant, I hate Ant's him. So like, this, no, no, I respect him as a person, but his game to me is like, like, bro, like, what? Right, okay, like, so I'll say this. He goes ghost. What were you in the whole playoffs? Where were you in the whole regular season? You even made it in an all-star game and you shouldn't have. You was like you really shouldn't have nah, made it. Like your stats man. wasn't even nah, like man. that. I would have gave that. I wish they would have did back and forth. I would have gave Paolo that vote over his ass because Paolo was better, more Paolo dominant was than Paolo he was. was, all Paolo was he made it off of uh, substitutions too, injury reserves. Yeah. Off okay. I'll, 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 say, I'll, I'll, I'll say this. When I'm when I'm looking when I'm looking at him for the Timberwolves. When I'm looking at him was, I look at him from from a standpoint of not what they did this year. But what they did when their teams were bad, and then the next year, what did you do? So I look at De'Aaron Fox or his team being bad, him not being yeah. available. Then this year, they're a top seed in the West. Then I go with, then I go with fluke. By the way, <laughs> sorry, DJ, I just don't think that that's no, going to happen. Then, then I go with you, know, you say fluke. I said fluke. We gonna see. <laughs> we gonna see. I go with with OKC, who who had a lottery pick, and they they weren't even they were supposed to tank this year for Wembenyama, and SGA was like, "Nah, we ain't taking." And if it wasn't for him getting hurt towards the tail end, they probably could have snuck into playing. Is I mean, uh, they did get into playing, but they dropped out um, of playoffs too to uh, get into playing. So I look from them going to lottery pick to. Being able to be in the play-in potential playoffs, and then the same thing with AE. Timberwolves wasn't going to the playoffs. AE gets there, playoffs every time. So that's kind of like what I'm going off of. And you look at Lamelo, it's like, I mean, Lamelo <laughs> is box office. I mean, shoot, I I got my son. I I got him three pairs of Lamelos. The first joints, and like like them joints, them he's crazy. But then when you look at his his team you look at what peaks. he's done in, with his team since he's been there he has the least best team he though. does his, his, he has the he, worst he has the he worst do. team out he, of he all does. His he has, he has he, he definitely do. does has the worst team but it's like the same thing with is like your game didn't make a leap from year to year and then you're not available so now i'm thinking about it like do do we got another lonzo ball on our hands with this guy Cause if he gets injured again, then it's like, bro, what, what, what's really going on? Then hey, he man, pressures. Fuck this nigga Levar. 
Yeah. Then he passes his foot, just walking, just running. Yeah, buttons, man, he fucking killing the ball. Man, he got it. Then he passes his foot, just like yeah. running, just stepping. Yeah, just like, stepping. Yeah, that's yeah crazy. Out there, but it was his ankle. Like he kept messing up his ankle. Yeah, and then that happened. He fractured it. Yeah, no, nah, that's. But yeah, man. So, so y'all said mellow. Huh? But when the mellow, <laughs> just when the mellow goes to you know when yeah, he gets he's going to the contract, he got high New potential York somewhere though, like but, that. Okay. When it's when it's big time, then it's gonna be it's gonna turn around. If if cat, if cat leaves, then Minnesota is right back. I mean, to, yeah. we talking about the future. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think to your point, Jay is like he need to get a summer away from his dad to really lock in and do what he got to do. Because like, yeah, his dad got him to this point. Yeah, nah, you can't be working. You can't be slaving your workouts, man. You gonna keep using that, that. though. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, what are you running up the dirt hills for right now, man? Go and get Shoot the basketball. Stop lifting, nigga. Shoot the basketball. You did. (laughs) But on that note, you know what I'm saying, we gonna get out of here. So, uh, Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all uh, tap in next week. Vote. We'll be right vote back with uh, episode three. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for having me. Oh, yeah. Vote with me, too. Oh, we going to win that. But yeah, put your team, put your votes up so <laughs> y'all, you know, first pick next week. You know what I'm saying? Back to back, baby. Time,